Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, in light of the recent untethered iOS 8 through 8.1 jailbreak, I've decided to update my previous complete guide to unlocking with this new installment to inform you guys of the three major types of unlocks for all iPhone models, including the latest ones, such as the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, running iOS 8 and even 8.1. All right, now first, prior to jumping into what it means to actually unlock an iPhone, it's important to realize that as I previously stated, there are three forms of unlocks, only one of which is a viable option for today's iPhone ecosystem. But with that being said, I'm going to outline all types of unlocks regardless, in case you own an older iPhone running an older version of iOS. Now, if you're not familiar with what it means to unlock your iPhone, essentially it does allow an iPhone to be used on a carrier outside of the one that it was initially intended for. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. And although there is one type of unlock that does rely on a jailbreak, the two are actually fundamentally different from one another. And for today's iPhone models, only one type of unlock functions and that type does not rely on a jailbreak. So up first, we have a software-based unlock, which since the release of the iPhone 4 hasn't functioned on any of the newer baseband. However, if you do own a now obsolete iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4 on the supported basebands or single baseband, if you have an iPhone 4, you'll be able to utilize Ultra Snow from one of the default Cydia repository. So simply search for Ultra Snow and Snow has a zero in it. And you can do that once you're actually jailbroken and you have Cydia installed on your iPhone. And if you aren't jailbroken, then just be sure to click the link down below in the more info because said link does contain Best Tech Info's jailbreak archives. And from there, you'll be able to find the tutorial that's applicable to your device. But again, as I previously stated, unless you own an iPhone 4 or an even older iPhone 3GS on an extremely old firmware and baseband, you will not be able to take advantage of a software-based unlock and utilize Ultra Snow to unlock your device. Now next, we have a hardware unlock using something like a Jevy SIM, and they're slightly more practical. However, there are definitely restrictions and limitations to a hardware unlock. Actually, it does depend on your device, the firmware, and the baseband. And like software unlocks, the hardware variant simply cannot unlock newer devices like the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, or iPhone 5C. Now finally, we do have the preferred unlock method, which is an IMEI or factory unlock. And while the benefits for this type of unlock are near endless, including the fact that an unlock increases a device's resale value, the iPhone can be used internationally with any prepaid SIM and the fact that it's not limited by what should be considered trivial factors such as firmware, device type, and baseband. All three of those things do limit the previous two different types of unlocks. So this is by far the best method of unlocking any iPhone model. And while there are a number of various IMEI unlocking services for iPhone models, all of which do charge fees to unlock said iPhones. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast in this case. And the reason for that is because it's actually done at a carrier level. So essentially someone with the authority to unlock an iPhone has to input the iPhone's IMEI into the carrier's IMEI whitelist database. And again, that's done at the original carrier for the iPhone. And then from there, plugging into iTunes, it should register with Apple servers that the iPhone is intended for unlocked use and then your iPhone will be registered with Apple to be permanently unlocked. The firmware and baseband are both irrelevant when it comes to an IMEI unlock. So oftentimes the prices to unlock an iPhone will fluctuate not only depending on the device but also the carrier that it's initially locked to. And with that said, what I'm going to mention next is extremely important. While you can utilize any unlocking service to unlock an iPhone's IMEI at what's to be considered a factory level, you need to be careful when picking a service. So not to freak you guys out because there are a lot of great IMEI unlocking services out there, but sometimes depending on said service, they actually won't refund you if for whatever reason, the unlock fails to process at the carrier level. So with that said, there is actually a service that I do recommend. However, like I previously stated, you can utilize any, but if you're looking for a service to unlock any iPhone model, then just visit falunlocks.com or you can also go to bit.ly 
forward slash unlock ICU. And once you go there, you can get some additional information on an iPhone unlock, what it actually means, how it works, how it functions, and then you can actually process your unlock. Now, this is a site that I am behind, and this is a site that I do support. So you can rest assured knowing that when you purchase an unlock, it will either be fulfilled successfully or you will be refunded if you either want a refund prior to the processing of the unlock, or if for whatever reason, as I previously stated, the unlock fails at the carrier level, you'll actually get an instant refund. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I'm creating this video for the sole purpose of promoting this website. Far from it, actually. Ever since I created my YouTube channel, I've received a plethora of questions related to not only jailbreaking, but also unlocking an iPhone. There are so many different situations where an unlock comes in handy. Like I stated before, if you go to resell your iPhone, it not only increases the value, but you can actually use the iPhone overseas on other carriers. You can use it on prepaid carriers, or you can actually completely switch services. So for instance, since I have an AT&T iPhone 6 Plus here, if I were so inclined, I could unlock my iPhone and then use it on T-Mobile. Like I said, if I wanted to switch networks, I could with an unlock. Traditionally speaking, if you were to just insert a T-Mobile SIM card into your device, it wouldn't work if it's locked to a carrier like AT&T without the iPhone being unlocked. And as I stated before as well, IMEI unlocks are done at the carrier level. And once your device's IMEI is inside the original carrier's IMEI whitelist database, then all you have to do is plug your iPhone into your computer via a standard USB cable, launch iTunes, and then from there you should receive a prompt stating that your iPhone has been unlocked. Keep in mind in most cases you will need a SIM card from the original carrier that your device was locked to. If for whatever reason you plug your device into your computer, launch iTunes, and you don't receive that unlock prompt, then you can try restoring your iPhone. However, just be careful if you are into jailbreaking and you have your device jailbroken and you're interested in purchasing an IMEI based unlock from any of the services available online, you want to get your iPhone unlocked and you want to use it on another carrier, then you should do so now. Definitely don't wait as Apple is planning on releasing the iOS 8.1.1 jailbreak patching firmware soon. So obviously once that firmware is out and once Apple stops signing iOS 8.1, you will no longer be able to jailbreak by way of Pangu for iOS 8 through 8.1. And if for whatever reason the unlock does require a restore, then like I just outlined, you'll have to restore to 8.1 prior to 8.1.1's release to retain your jailbreak. All right, so a lot of information to take into account here when considering unlocking your iPhone. I have outlined the three major types of unlocks for you guys, only one of which you can get through Cydia after jailbreaking, but it is restricted to the older and now obsolete iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. And while there is one hardware-based unlock solution, it really only functions on an older iteration of iOS, again, the latest version being iOS 6, and on older iPhone models, so devices like the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6 will not be supported. And with that said, in this day and age, really the only type of unlock is a factory or IMEI unlock. So just some information for you guys, again, you can use any IMEI unlock service, just verify that they are trusted. I hope this video helps helped you guys out and I really do hope that you guys can successfully unlock your iPhone for use on any network. Again, remember that once it's IMEI is inputted into the carrier's whitelist database, you can plug it into your computer via USB cable and open iTunes. From there, it should register with Apple servers that the iPhone is indeed intended and eligible for unlocked use. Now, if this video, which is strictly intended for informational purposes, helped you guys out, be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, if you're interested in earning paid apps and gift cards, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash getfreeapplife or freeapplife.com inside of Mobile Safari. From there, simply hit download, and if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, launch the app, and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is actually never even installed on your device fully as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, now that's it for this video, guys. Again, just highlighting the three major types of unlocks, all of which, again, will be detailed in the post that's linked to down below in the more info. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create new videos covering things like unlocking, jailbreaking, or the forthcoming Apple Watch, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is I see you signing out.